So this is Ujjal Kumar Sen and in this video tutorial we are going to learn about linear differential equation of nth order. Well as you know there are many cases in this equation so we'll start from case 1 only. So this tutorial is dedicated to only case 1. Now if you have uh, understand or if you have stated about linear differential equation of nth order then probably you are getting my point that is what is the meaning of x is equal to x x1 is equal to x2 well when we write an auxiliary equation there we find uh, find out values of d so suppose that the values uh, we got two values of d two values of d x1 and x2 okay so in the case one what we exactly we are going to talk about if x1 is not equal to x2 that means the values we are getting here d1 is equal to suppose that 1 and d is equal to 1 and uh, 2 okay let's say d is equal to 1 and 2 that means x1 is a 1 and x2 is 2 so what case exactly we are doing here x1 is not equal to x2 are you getting my point so basically we will start from x1 is equal to not x2 and then we will start will go for x1 is equal to x2 is equal to x3 is equal to x4 is equal to so on and then then we'll go for uh, imaginary number then we'll go for sing, uh, both of the number is imaginary then we'll go for one imaginary and uh, one is real number all right so in this way we'll study all cases of uh, linear differential equation of nth order that's why you'll understand all concept of this differential equation of nth order okay so what happened in this uh, video tutorial I'm going to share with you previous year problems those already asked in gate okay that's why you can understand about it you can go for it and you can uh, you can you know you can do much better in this okay so let's get started so first of all we got this question this question already asked in gate previous year I hope you can read the question so what we have given in this question in this question we have given find the solution of differential equation is this so whenever you are seeing nth order there is something in the order not one more than one that is known as nth order okay so then what you have to do first step is to convert is to convert step first read the question okay that is the first step but next step thus that read the question and then convert this into auxiliary equation that is d square minus 5 d plus 6 is equal to 0 what is uh, this is known as auxiliary equation probably you have heard about this type of equation before and uh, definitely uh, i must say you have probably go i mean studied about i mean i mean you have gone through this equation right so auxiliary equation so this is the equation we have written and after it after writing this equation what we have to do we have to find out the value of d that's why what i have already shared with you in the beginning of the tutorial that we have to find out values of d from the equation we have given right so how we can found that's really simple what we have to do we have to just factorize this so 2 3 is 6 so we can do 3d minus 2d is 5 plus 6 is equal to 0 now what we have to do we have to take common from here we can take common d so d minus 3 minus 2 d minus 3 is equal to 0 so we can write this d minus 2 d minus 3 is equal to 0 therefore we can write d is equal to 2 and 3 so if we'll compare with my concept x1 x2 then here what we got x1 is equal to 2 and x2 is equal to 3 and what i said we are following the case 1 so these problems already asked in gate so i have chosen such problem those are not those are fall in case 1 what i call case 1 x1 is equal to not x2 so here x1 is equal to not x2 so in that case what we have to write i mean what is the formula for it okay so from seeing the option you can write but yeah if you did not practice little bit about this question then probably writing the equation is little difficult for you so here in this case whenever we got x1 is not equal to x2 okay so 
y equal to we can write c1 e to the power x1 x that means 2 x okay plus c2 e to the power x2 x that means 3 x so this is the equation for y in case of this equation so now you can uh, you can easily see the answer here okay one of the most important trick let me share with you but yeah positive negative i cannot share see the values here whenever you are getting see, seeing two here see the values here and just factor try to find out factor of which is which 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 can be a form like this then we can easily predict the answer which answer can be for this question but yes for such kind of level of thinking i will definitely not recommend you if you are beginner if you are yeah good enough in mathematics then you can go for that but yes uh, this is the conventional method you can follow this to get the almost right answer okay 99.9 percent .9 chance is there to get the right answer through by following this concept okay so i hope you understand this thought well now let's go for another question in this case only so here is the case we got so what we got in this case find solution I mean, what is the question basically <laughs> find solution of differential equation we have to find out solution of the differential equation so we have given the differential equation so we have to convert the equation into form of d right so let's go for it d square plus d minus 6 is equal to 0 d square plus d minus 6 equal to 0 now what we can do d square 3d minus 2d minus 6 is equal to 0 take d as common t plus 3 minus 2 common d plus 3 is equal to 0 therefore d minus 2 and d plus 3 is equal to 0 so values of d are 2 and minus 3 okay so again we uh, this question is fall in the same category which category i am taking the same case which case i have taken earlier so these two uh, these two numerical i mean two mathematics definitely uh, i hope helpful for you to solve numerical problems so what is next thing we have to find out that is what is y so i have already shared with you the formula is c1 e to the power uh, x1 x plus c2 e to the power x2 x so what is x1 here 2 so c1 e to the power 2x plus c2 e to the power minus 3x so c1 e to the power 2x and c2 e to the power uh, minus 3x if we are getting this uh, c1 e to the power 2x c1 e to the power yeah so basically you know uh, you can write this level so you can you can write this also 3 and 2, minus 3 and 2 so minus 3x and we can write this also 2x okay that is depend on us how we are calculating values right so that is depend on us so c1 into the because the answer we got it is not matching with any one of the options so we have to think like that we have to reverse this c1 into the power minus 3x and c2 into the power plus 2x minus 3x here yeah. option c is the right answer as we have given in this question so this is how we can solve numerical problems related to it okay so what i am talking about is nth order of linear differential equation so in this what you have to do you have to first follow few steps and you have to learn how to solve the numerical problem right so the what is the standard formula for finding out y i mean for a solution of the differential equation y is equal to c1 e to the power x1 x plus c2 e to the power x2 x if there are two values only if there are three values then to be extend keep on going right so this is how we can solve question related to gate well one of the most important thing if you are facing any problem related to this case one or any other question uh, a mathematic question or mechanical engineering question well i'm a mechanical engineer so i can only help you in mechanical engineering <laughs> in other uh, if you are uh, if you are belonging from any other branch i'm sorry i cannot help you because i'm a mechanical engineer so definitely i will try to help you send me question i will try to solve it but yes if i will get time then only otherwise that's not possible because i am saying practical thing nothing nothing like that okay so if you like the video share with your friends and definitely it will be helpful for them also and one more thing if you haven't subscribed my channel yet subscribe it now and uh, be the part of this journey and do best in the examination 
that is my hope that you can do in the examination much better thanks for watching thank you very much bye bye